Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I edit my YouTube videos. So there's kind of a lot that comes to play in filming and editing and uploading. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I edit my YouTube videos. If you guys would like to see a video on how I film and how I upload my YouTube videos, let me know in the comment section because I feel like um, it'll be easier to do it in three parts than kind of just try to throw it all in one video and I don't want to miss anything so for editing i use imovie i use it because it's literally the most easiest thing to use as far as editing it's very beginner friendly i feel like with imovie i still get the control that i want and i don't really do too much with my videos so i feel like it's pretty self-explanatory so i feel like um it's not too difficult the first thing that you would need to do is have your video clips ready if you have that then great if you don't and you kind of want to know how to do that it really depends if you are filming on a camera like I am. Um, right now I am filming on the Canon EOS M100. This is the kind of camera that I'm filming with. I'll put a picture of it right here. Um, when I'm filming with this I use something called an SD card. If you guys are not familiar with that it looks a little something like this. Well not this. This is just the case. Um, this case actually came with um, the camera when I bought it. I've had this one for a really really long time. I had to get another one that was able to hold more storage. This one is just four gigabytes um, so it's not really ideal for filming if you're filming really long videos. If you go back to my old old videos I would film with this camera right here and this is the Kodak Pix Pro AZ252. I would film with this camera right here and I would use this SD card. As far as quality, I don't think the quality was pretty good. Pretty hard to do vlogs because I wasn't able to see myself. But anyways, if you're filming and you're trying to edit your videos, you want to make sure that you have your videos in one place. The good thing about iMovie is if you have any Apple device, you can literally get it on any Apple device. Whether that is an iPad, your iPhone, um, your iMac computer, whatever, you can literally get it on any Apple device. The next thing I would say is this doesn't really apply to anyone who is editing on their phone or um, iPad because you really wouldn't need this step but if you are editing on your computer you would need something called this. This is just an SD card reader. What you would do is you would plug in your SD card here and then you would plug it into your laptop and move over your video files from here to your laptop. You need a video on how to do that. More than happy to show you how to do that. If you have that, then you're pretty much good to go. So I'm gonna change the view to my laptop. Okay, so let's say your laptop is pretty much looking like this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna open iMovie. Once you got iMovie open, it's going to look something like this. We're gonna click Create New and we're gonna click Movie. So right here are all of my past YouTube videos that I filmed. This was a separate video. I think this was like my simple vlog video, but we're not going to be using any of these clips today. I'm actually going to be editing a new video that I had recently filmed. Um, that's probably already up by now. It's benefits for me because I actually need to edit this video and this is the perfect video to do that. <laughs> so the first thing that I always like to add is my intro and I always have a pre-made intro. This is the intro to all of my YouTube videos. This was the intro to this video. Um, I always have that and then to get my clips that I have that I'm going to be editing today, it's actually in my backup. So it's on my external hard drive. The video that I'm gonna be editing is the 2023 makeup routine. So it's gonna be these videos here. And I'm gonna take those and I'm gonna drag those into iMovie and I can exit out of that. And then I'm going to make this small. And I just made it small by using this little drag bar here. And then I'm going to add my basically outro to the end of the clips. So these are the clips that I'm going to be editing, which are the three videos that are in between. So I'm going to make this bigger. 
by using the little um, slide bar and we're gonna go ahead and basically how I edit is I just edit the stuff that I don't want in there so it's pretty simple which is why I have like all the jump cuts in there um, that's pretty much how I do it so let's go ahead and see <laughs> So that part I don't want in my video at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split. And I do that by doing command B. And it just split this clip in half. And then I'm just going to delete that by pressing delete. So now it'll go like this. Hey Alright, and I also want to edit that part as well. So I'm going to do command B and just made that its own clip and I'm going to delete that. Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is I'm going to be doing a 20-23 makeup routine. Okay, and I'm going to split that here and then I want to go to titles and I want to use this pixie dust um, format because I like the like the little glitter or sparkles coming across the screen I like that so I'm gonna add that here let's see and I'm also gonna pre like I'm also gonna like view it uh, let's see yeah this I'm gonna be doing a 20-23 makeup routine okay so that came kind of early I think I want to do it here 20-23 makeup routine I'm gonna go, I'm gonna add it a little bit before. 20-23 makeup routine. Okay, and now I'm able to add the text that I want. And I'm gonna do 20-23 makeup. I think makeup's one word. Makeup routine. And then also you can change the form like the font of the text if you want to. I personally like the font that it's at, so I'm not going to change it. Another thing that you can do is you can highlight the text and you can change um how big you want it, but I think this one you can't change how big it is only because I think that the size of the font is already like with this um with this template but you can change the format or you can change the size of the text with i know that you can change it with lower with side lower third you can change it with that you can change the side to split lower third you can change the side with reveal and expand lower third um there's other templates with text that you can change the size of i just don't think you can change it with this one um, another thing that you can do, oh, I think I might have deleted it on accident. So let's do 2023 makeup routine. Okay, another thing that you can do is you can make it bold, you cannot make it bold, you can make an outline with it. I don't really like the way it looks with the outline, so I'm not going to do that. You can also change the color of the text if you would like. I just wanted to add that in there in case you guys didn't know that. So let's see how this looks. 20 and 23 makeup routine. I'm really excited for this video because I feel like I finally got down. Okay. I'm okay, and I think I want to cut that part out. Routine. I'm really excited for this video because I feel like I finally got okay. 20. So me personally, I feel like that the text is there too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten it up like this. 20 to 23 makeup routine. I'm really excited for this video because I feel like I finally got down like how I'm going to do my makeup. I'm going to edit that. Um, I said um. So a lot of the times when you're editing your videos you realize that you keep saying the same word over and over again like filler words like um uh stuff like that those are things that you would want to edit out because not everybody's gonna want to hear you say uh three million times in your video you know today i'm gonna be doing more so like a full face makeup okay so um that's another thing that people do they usually go like 
or something like that i know that i do it i don't mean to do it but i know that some people do do it it might not just be me i feel like other people might do it as well <laughs> but i'm going to um um, um. And I'm going to delete that. Today I'm going to be doing more so like a full face makeup. I'm just not going to be doing eyeshadow. I'm not good at eyeshadow. I hate eyeshadow. Like, I can't. I can't with eyeshadow. Okay, and I'm going to edit that part out. In this video, some people, if you realize when you're editing um, that you kind of ramble a lot, I would, my big suggestion would just be as long as you get through what you're trying to say, just keep that part. If you realize that you are keep saying the same thing over and over again, which I tend to do sometimes in my videos, I just go ahead and when I say it the first time, I just go ahead and keep that one or I keep the one where I say it nicely or fully or I don't be like, um, um, um. Like, I just keep the part where I actually say it nicely and full. And then the other times if I'm saying it again or I'm rambling, I just cut those parts out because I don't need that. Or he'll, um, you know. Alright, and I'm going to cut that out. And now I'm going to go, this is when I'm actually starting the makeup tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. No, we're just, we're just going to have to see. But let's go ahead and get in with this makeup video. And get, but let's, um, let's, let's go ahead. I'm just gonna have to see, but okay. So this part I don't need. You know, let's go ahead and get in with this makeup video. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do. So let's see. I don't need this part because it's like a little pause. I don't want that, so I'm gonna delete that out. Yeah, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to moisturize with the Dove Lotion. All right. And then I'm also going to be adding um, fast, like, what do you call it? Like fast play. I'm going to be like speeding through some of the stuff. Because I don't feel like you guys need a tutorial. In this video, for this purpose, I don't think you guys need a tutorial on how I put lotion on my face. I feel like that's pretty much a given. So I'm going to just speed through that. And I'm going to show you guys how to add music onto your videos too. If you really want to do that. So, let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to start here. I'm going to delete this. And then I'm going to find the clip where I finished putting lotion on which is here and so now for this clip I'm gonna highlight this clip which is already highlighted here and I'm going to go to this button here it's called speed it's like a little half a circle kind of thing and once you click on it it goes to this now as you can see it says speed here and then it says normal I'm just gonna click on it and I'm gonna go to fast when you click on fast you can also edit like how fast you want it if you want it on two times four times eight times and 20 times i think i'm just going to do two times because that's i think that's fast enough for me actually it's not i think i want to do four times Okay, so yeah, that is good enough for me. Now, I also don't want like the little squeaky noise in my video, so I'm gonna go to volume and I'm going to turn the volume all the way down. And then I'm gonna go to my media and I'm gonna click on music. Now, this music I actually downloaded off of YouTube. I went on YouTube and I searched up um youtube non-copyright music and i just went ahead and i downloaded it onto my computer by using a youtube to music converter or something like that and then i put it on my imovie library i put it on there so i'm able to use this the thing that i like about this is that it actually has a whole bunch of different songs in there so it's not just one song this is like an hour video where it has a whole bunch of r&b songs so that's what i like about this i don't really know what song i'm gonna click i'm just gonna randomly get a section and i'm gonna put it at the bottom right here and then we're gonna see what music it is. Oh, 
Okay, so I think I want the beginning of this song, so I'm going to delete that. Let's skip this and let's bring it here. It might be easier to edit it when it's already here. Six years. I'm trying to find the beginning of when Drake starts singing because I really want that. Okay, here it goes right here. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to split that, and then I'm going to delete everything before it because I don't want it. And then I'm going to drag it over. My clip is here and I'm going to take this and I'm going to edit that there and then I'm just going to kind of move this audio back because I don't need it right now we'll save that for later we'll come back for it if you want to see what it looks like you just go back and you're going to click play So then I have that, and I'm just going to split that. I am going to go in with foundation. And with foundation. Close your eyes. I am going to go in with foundation. Close your eyes. Alright. I am going to go in with foundation. Alright. I'm going to delete that. I don't need that. I'm going to be using the Stay Naked Foundation, and this is what it looks like. Oops. I'm going to be using the Stay Naked Foundation, and this is what it looks like. Alright, so now that you can actually see what product I'm using, I'm going to cut that, or split that, and then I did all this rambling before I actually used the foundation. So I'm just going to go into when I'm actually using the foundation. So here you can see me actually put it on. So I'm going to go here, split that, and then all of that is rambling. So I don't need that. And this is what it looks like. Alright, so now actually I put it on. And then I said something about me spraying setting powder on my beauty blender. And down spray that I'm using. Spray. This is the setting spray in my beauty blender on my forehead. And I'm just I don't need that. Spray my beauty blender with setting spray. This is the setting spray that I'm using. I got this from Forever 21. Alright. So now that I said the product that I'm using and I said where I got it from, everything else that I'm saying is irrelevant because nobody cares about that. So now I'm going to go in with me actually putting in my makeup. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to change the speed to fast. The good thing about this is, so let's say you want to change the speed to fast and you want to do eight times or four times, it's going to be four times throughout the rest of your video. What I mean by that is this video that I sped up is on 4x, right? So that means this video is also going to be on 4x. I think that that's good because that means anytime I want to speed up my video throughout this video that I'm editing, it's all going to be the same speed. One thing that it doesn't do, which some people may or may not like, is that if you have one clip on 4x, all of them are going to be on 4x. So if you decide that you want to make another clip fast, but you want it to be a little bit faster, you can't do that. At least not on iMovie, you can't. Some people may like that and some people may not like that, but I figured that could be something that I could tell you guys or that I should tell you guys in case, you know, you may be wondering. Okay, so now all of that is going to be sped through. So we're going to go in with Let's see, when do I stop putting foundation on? I think I stopped putting foundation on here. So I'm gonna split that. And I'm gonna take this and I'm going to speed on fast. And as you can see, it's already gonna be on 4X, which is cool. I don't have to worry about trying to click or trying to remember which speed I put it on. It's already gonna do that for me and I love that. And then I'm going to go to volume and I'm going to put the put the video volume on zero. So that way it's going to look like this. got this from Forever 21. Alright, 
I'm just going to do this like that. So another thing that you can do is that I really, really like about this is you can always personalize this any way you want to. So if I really wanted to, I could go to titles and let's say I want to do expand lower third and I want to go here. I can click this. I can do, let's see. Can write dove lotion for moisturizer. Okay. So I can do that and then I can take this by highlighting it and I can change the font. So I can do this font, I can do a cursive font. They don't have many fonts on here, but if you download your own font on your computer, then you'd be able to use it up here. Um, I think I'm gonna do this one. And then I think I like the sizing of what's already on here. And then I can do bold if I want. I don't think I like bold, but I can also change the color to this pink. But I think I kind of like it white. I'm not going to lie. Okay. So we're going to do that. Lotion. I'm outside in a dance Okay. So I like the way how I put the title of what I'm using. And then here. I can do another title. Here. And then here I can put. Naked. Um, it's called the Stay Naked Foundation. So, Stay Naked Foundation. And then, let's see, what font did I use for this? I used Baskerville. So, I can take this, edit that, use that same font. This is what it looks like. Spraying my beauty blender with setting spray and I setting okay and then I said I'm spraying it so I don't really feel like I need a title for that but yeah and so now I'm gonna move my audio over and I'm going to be this using foundation. and I'm gonna use the instant I'm gonna use and I'm here and I'm okay so we're gonna go here I'm gonna edit that part out because I don't need it I'm gonna use the instant age rewind reface concealer and then I'm going to bring this down and I can also look at the concealer that I used in the video and it's called the instant age refined concealer so that's what I'm gonna put so and then all of this I'm going to be making making it fast that and then make the speed fast and then I'm also going to mute the sound to it because I don't need the background noise at all I'm gonna move my audio underneath the video and then I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna split the sound. So let's go back and look. Concealer. Okay, I'm gonna move my sound out the way because I don't need that. Boom. So I said everything I need to say and I told them what I was about to do. So now I'm able to take that from here and I'm going to speed this up here fast like that let's go back and then I'm going to mute the sound because I don't need the sound at all and I'm going to adjust my music underneath my video and I'm going to edit that like that and I'm going to move my sound out the way Okay, 
All right, so now I don't need that clip anymore. So that's basically how I edit my YouTube videos. I also wanted to show you guys really, really quick transitions that you can use in your videos if you guys are interested in that top. And then they have all these different transitions that you are able to choose from. Um, it's not really that many, but I think it's a cool if you, you know, really want something different instead of it just jump jump clipping to each video or just adding it right here with nothing um you can do a cross blur that's something that um i use normally so it looks like this hey guys, welcome to um another one that i would use is the swap which looks like this hey guys, welcome to um you can also use the swipe down which looks like this so it's really um based off your preference i like the way this looks even though i don't ever use it but i kind of like the way this looks i think that's really really cool if you guys have any specific questions please let me know in the comment section and i will definitely get to that i really hope that you guys like this video don't forget to like subscribe and comment and i will see you guys in my next one